Uh, good evening ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Bartell Road Gymnasium for the opening match of this year's 2019 Muskegon Lady Jayhawks volleyball season. This is Scott Vandewerp coming to you. My assistant's gone for a long weekend. He'll be back next week. So you're going to just listen to me all night. So got a nice crowd here for the opener. And uh, you're welcome to come on out. Free admission. Good entertainment. Anybody's got any leftovers? You can bring them. I'm a little hungry. Jayhawks played this weekend in a tournament. Went 4-0. And uh, got a couple new faces on the squad, a couple returning. Uh, Megan Crowley was out last year, setting. With Jaron Smith and Amber Jacobs back. Amber moves over to the right side this year. And we'll see what happens. Jordan Carlisle starts it off. An overpass for a kill by Jaron Smith to open up one nothing for the Jayhawks. Kalamazoo Valley Community College Cougars have a big squad this year. And I'll identify who I'll identify the players as we go through the evening. Here. Starting at 6.30 this year instead of 5.30, so not interrupting your uh, dinner hour. And Jordan puts one into the net, the 1-1. One -one. Serve goes over to number 12. Jolie Smoker from Bronson High School. Puts it in, passed up by Jacobs. Crowley out to Smith, picked up. Put out to number one. Gets across court. Shelby Krawczak from Three Rivers. Nice cut shot, the open spot. Caught Gianna Mega cheating in a little off the line there. So 2-1 comes the Valley. Serve out. 2-2. Two, two. Number 13 replaces number 12. I don't see her on the roster here, so I'm sorry for if your parents are watching. I don't know who you are. I'll try to get who you are in between games. Passes up, back set. It's a little long, this Shelby project. Abby Seeger from Whitehall back to serve. Good serve. Emma Peters. Number four, Bridget McHugh out of Reese Puffer. A middle, two new middles this year for the Jayhawks. And picks it up, puts it down, 4-2 for the Jayhawks. <coughs> Again, Seeger back to serve. Good tough serve. Nice pass up. The outside of McKenna Peters. Drills it in between the block for a kill. And 4-3. Number one, Krawczak back to serve. There's it picked up. Crowley dumps in the middle. Huge hole. Good, good, good find by Megan for a point. 5-3 side out. She takes the ball with her to go back to serve. Serves it in, passes up to the setter. Nice pick up by Jacobs off the tip. Setter outside to Peters. He's the top of the net, picked up. Back out of the back row by Carlisle. Little tip picked up by Jacobs. And McHugh puts it over for a point, 6-3. <coughs> Crowley back again to serve. Short. 
Setting a little low. And Jacob off the block. Trickles over. Look up. She's going to have to set outside and low. Peters can't get it over it. Calls the timeout. Forces the timeout. And there goes Jen Bukema. With a 7 3 start for the uh, Jayhawks. Great start. Obviously, uh, in their home gym. Uh, nice record uh, here in their home gym. Uh, we only lost like three times in the last three, four years, so it's uh, friendly confines. So um, we like that. Uh, even though we. Uh, have this beautiful new facility next door that's used for the students and student activities and classes. No athletic activities at this point are being played over there, so we remain in the home confines of the uh, Bartell Roads Gymnasium, which has been good to us for years. So. Jayhawks looking pretty sharp. Crowley back to serve. And short again, passed up. He's getting out to Peters in the middle. Off the side of the block for a kill. Gives them ball side out. Megan Seeley out of Central High School back to serve. Down 4-7. Good serve. Good serve. Nice set. Jacob picks it from the outside, puts a deep corner for a kill. Side out. Jaron Smith back to serve. Up 8-4. Good serve. Setter's got to run and get it. Peter, deep cross. Finds that deep corner for a kill. Early Smoker comes in, 13 goes out. 8-5. And Darren Smith can't handle the serve, so he's six. Peter's back to serve. He's a sophomore from Shelby. Remember from last year, potent player, strong, surfing on top of the net. 9-6. McHugh out. Seeger in. And Megna back to serve. Nice up. Megna back. Back set, picked up. Three ball, comes back, puts it outside, number 12. Cuts it off the side of her hand for a kill. We get that off blocker defense going for the Jayhawks, 9-7. A serve by number eight, Madison McGuire out of Bangor High School. Jayhawks got to pick up their serve, or their serve reserve a little, so. Nice pass up. Jacob through the middle, picked up by Peters, back door in the back row. Goes through the block to tie it up at nine. So a service run for the uh, a couple, of, couple of bad passes. And, the kill, oh, nice pass, oh, deep corner, oh, really smart by Megan Crowley. Dumps it over, good setter does. She sees it, takes the rhythm away from him. Nice job by Megan. Amber Jacobs back to serve, good server, good tough serve. Libero passes it up nice, back in the deep corner. He got a touch. Up 
Touch called, so side out, 10-10. No argument from Coach Rixey, so or Coach Falcom, both good eyes. Service error by number 15, Ella Lewis out of Portage Northern. Well, one point advantage and Carlisle back to serve for the Lady Jayhawks for the second time. That's going to float long. Yeah. Coach Rixey at Falcom have a theory they serve tough. Sometimes they bite you with some service errors, but a lot of times you make up those service aces. So, 11, Jordan Smith, really hops. Got really good hops. Goes high, hits it in between the block for a kill, 12, 11. Seeger goes back to serve. McHugh comes back in to block. And set back up. Yeah. Uses the equipment. And a nice block by Jaron Smith and McHugh. 13-11. Looking for a little separation. Seeger with a nice serve. Going back to serve again. Another good serve. Rebrow's passing well for Salmon Valley. Peters cuts it and catches him cheating again, playing that uh, left back defense. Uh, well, gonna have to, Coach Belkin's gonna have to fix that. Put the, pull that player, play off the line and in. Outside to Smith. Uh oh, no. Oh. Peters gets up high and swings hard to tie it up at 13 each. She can jump as well. Krozak back to serve. Jacobs, nice pass up. Well, that's not going to get done. Nice pick up by McHugh. And a free ball, see what they can do with it. Jaron Smith picks it high, hard, but long. And Kay Valley has their first lead of the match at 14-13. Krozak back to serve. Nice short serve. And Carlisle out of the back row. Nice set by Crowley. And Carlisle finds a deep corner and ties it at 14. Crowley goes to the back row to serve at 14. Good deep serve. Oh. Walker's got to know Sutter's what's going on there and just didn't go with the easy pushover. So 15 14 side out, takes the ball out of the hands of Crowley and gives it over to Megan Seeley for the Cougars. Up 15 14. Good serve, Jaron Smith. Ooh, I got a net. Yep, that's what I thought. 15 all. Well, she's over and, and a net, so take your choice. 15. Smith goes back to serve. Tied up at 15. Serves it into the net. Doesn't help. 16-15. Rachel Paulson comes in for her out of Fruitport High School. See what she can do. Peters back to serve. Megna can't handle it. Down 17 15 with all the time out. So, probably the biggest Achilles heel for the Jayhawks in the first set so far, in my opinion. Gonna pick their passing up. Gonna play a little better defense off the cut shot of the Cougars. And I think, I don't have a pin with me, but I think they've missed three or four serves. So, only thing is they've been negated by about the same amount from Kalamazoo Valley. So, it hasn't been a stark statistic uh, that's gonna bite them right now. But, you know, if they miss four, and Cal Valley misses one, then it hurts. So, 
they're still in the game, only down by two, a side out and a real point, and they're right back in this game. But uh, I think some of them playing, I think, maybe a little first game, first match jitters at the home court with all the parents. Looks like uh, a couple of local high school teams are here to watch, which is great to see the support. High school season's in swing. So, we come back out. We got Carlisle, Jacobs, and McHugh in the front row. Paulson and Crowley and Magna in the back. See what happens. Peter to serve for Kalamazoo. Good tough serve. Uses the equipment for an ace for 18 15. Uh, the key thing if you're coming out of the timeout, if you're a server, you want to put it in, but she not only put it in, use the equipment for an ace, gives them a three point lead. Again, nice serve. Tank pass. Another pass in there for 19 15. Smith back in, Paulson out. And Rick gave her a few minutes to collect herself, come back in. And then picked up, back to Jacobs. Picked up by the Libro. Three ball. Picked up by Smith, outside to Carlisle. A little weak on the swing, set was dying. And the shoulder came down and put it in the net. So we go from down two to down five out of the timeout. 2015, the Jayhawks in a little bit of trouble here, need to pick it up. Peters, good serve deep. Crowley outside. Carlisle down the line. Liberal's there, but can't bring it up. Goes out into the crowd, side out, 16 20. Magna back to serve. Kyler, Carlisle, Seeger, and Jacobs in the front row. Megan, deep serve, good serve. Pulls the setter about 12 foot off. Picked up by Crowley. Jacobs, block. Called her off. Carlisle, good pick up by the Libero. Number 12, high hands off the block. 21, 16. Good play, smart choices. Keeping the ball in between the lines and playing it out. Bella Lewis in to serve. Good serve. Picked up by Magna. Crowley's about 12 foot off. Carlisle deep middle for the kill. Jacobs goes back to serve. One of our better servers, Amber, we need a run. Tough and in. And she goes. First serve. Good serve. Picked up. Pulls the setter out, she puts it up, picked up. Magna's there waiting for it that time. Carlisle down the line, good pick up by the Libro. Swing, oh, yeah. That came out dirty. Called two, good call. Twenty-two seventeen, three points away from the first game. Number eight, McGuire, back to serve. Uh, Jayhawks got to dig in here in game one. Down by five. Madison McGuire out of Bangor High School, back to serve. Number five, Kayla Yor out of Coloma High School is uh, playing Libro and doing an exceptional job for the Cougars. I haven't called her name yet, but I should have, and I apologize, but uh, she's got a good beat on the ball, good feel. She's passed really well. Got to give her credit. So we got uh, Jacobs, Magna, and Smith back passing. And let's see what we uh, what we can come up with here. So 
Bush Butte. Come on, ask for a lineup check. So. So after a little break there, Lewis comes back to serve. And we get back to action. Good tough serve. Magna, good pass up. Crowley back. Picked up over. Crowley picks the ball up right off the top of the net. I guess they called over. A disagreement from the two officials. Goes, point goes to the Cougars to give them 23. That serves it in the net and Carlisle goes back. Smith goes up, front row, down five, 18-23. Carlisle serves, good serve. Up the side of Peter's arms. He's going to swing away from the back row. Hits it deep and in. So now we're at the set point in game one. Not something the Lady Jayhawks are used to here in their home gym. Down 18-24 in set one. Back to serve. Carlisle picks it up. Crowley's got to go about 12 foot off. Jacobs out of the backcourt. Peters picks it off. Off. Back out. Smith, no, way too high, he picks it up, number one, does a dip, oh, nice up by Jacob, Smith puts it in, picked up by the Libro, oh, one. oh, and a block by Abby Seeger to keep the game alive, nice, nice play, Jayhawks didn't quit, came in, Abby takes the ball with her, back to serve, McHugh's back in, 19-24. Good serve, Peters offside of her, about 12 foot off. Yeah. The ball dies on it. Number 12. Billy Smoker puts it in the bottom of the net, 20-24. Seeger back with another good serve. Puts it up still about 11, 10, 11 feet off. A tip picked up by Smith. Nice back row by Jacob. Picked up. Picked up by Carlisle. Oh, comes over. Picked up by Jacob Crowley. Tip. Oh, Smith says, get it out of here. Still a free ball. Carlisle outside. Touch. Oh, nice touch by Peters. What a rally. Little tip shot. Run through from Jacob. Set. McHugh picked up by Bjor. Still open, still on. Outside the number one, swings, block, picked up by Peters, it, there it is, step one. What a rally for the seven point number two. Hagen Seeley puts it away and gives Kay Valley the first, first set, 25-20. Wow, what a good last rally. Back and forth, back and forth, and uh, we'll have to see what, uh, transpires here we just got to clean it up a little so as the match went on we seemed to pass a little better picked up a couple of those balls that were hit angle but we just couldn't couldn't uh, couldn't pick up any real points so we'll have to see what happens so Started off strong, and I stalled in the middle, and then from 15 on, we just couldn't. We got outscored 10 to 10 to 5, and uh, just couldn't get any mojo running. So they gotta uh, clean it up a little, like I said. And uh, Camels and Valley's got a lot of bounce in their step right now, so we've got to stand on them right as we get out of the gates and set two. 
Just to remind you, we play the best three out of five sets. 25, first four sets are played to 25. Have to win by two, no cap. Third set, fifth set if necessary, goes to 15. Have to win by two with no point cap. So we could be here a while tonight, folks. It looks like it's going to be a competitive match, and uh, we'll see uh, what happens here in set two. Lady Jayhawks step back out for set two. Waiting for Kay Valley. See what happens. Oh. Jayhawks have an athletic team. They get two good middles. They had to replace from losing their middles from last year. And uh Coach Rixie and Belkin done a good job out recruiting. And having Megan back setting. Got a new Libero. Oh, Jordan Carlisle, nice addition at outside, moving Amber Jacobs to the right side. He's got really nice hands in case uh, Megan has to play the ball and we need a setter over there. Uh, We start off the second set. Jacobs passes up to Crowley. And Seeger pushes it long. There it is, Jacobs. Another good pass. Gonna go outside to Jaron Smith. And we got a net. So we pick it up there at 1-1. And Q in, Seeger back to serve. Magna Libro steps out for a rotation. 1-1. One, one. Oh, I like that. Okay. Go up and get it. There it is. Oh, she hits it long. You got it. That's all right. It's aggressive. Nothing wrong with it. Next point. Billy Krozak back to serve. Short, beautiful short serve. Nice pickup by Magna. McHugh shoves it and goes into the net on her follow through. So, a couple of early errors and we got 3 1. We're down. Krozak back to serve. Another nice short serve. Picked up. Krozak sets it. Smith re wheels it. Gets a kill. Megan Crowley goes back to serve. With Jacobs, McHugh, and Smith in the front row. Crowley back to serve, 2-3. Short. Well, I put a quick shoot set that worked for 4-2. Megan Seeley back to serve. Good, tough serve. Pulls Crowley out of the court. Smith keeps it in play. Set back on a slide. Picked up by Jacobs. Crowley off the block. Ooh. Got it. Megan over. Another back, back set. Got called for a three. Yeah. Well, good call by Dave Alexander. Number two, Seeley back. 
5-2 for the Cougars. Tough serve. Magna, nice pass up back to Smith. He's got to go over. Nope. Magna up. Crowley. Nice block. And the Q goes back up and gets it again. Darren Smith goes back to pass, or back to serve, excuse me. Down 3 5, set 2, down a set. Happy birthday, buddy. Nice pass by your. Two call. So, four or five. I missed that, to be honest with you. I was wishing little Sawyer Belcom an eighth birthday yesterday. Not bad. And serves off. Good pass up. Back to Peters. Has to set it, but goes out. Tied. So now we're tied at five. Coach Belkin giving him some advice to John and Megan. Huh? Back goes back on a slide and sneaks it through. Not pretty, but it works. 6 5. Peters back to serve. Up 6 5. Using the equipment for an ace. So she's got a little bit of topspin on it and it just crawled over the net for a point seven five K Valley. And again, Carlisle steps up, takes it. Jacobs out of the middle. Picked up. Peters. Smith gets it. Magna set up. Fox. There we go. It sits in. Your plays it. Back set. Goes under the net. So that's a violation. You can't land under the net with your foot. She did. So it's a point for the Lady Jayhawks. So it'll be 7 6. Seeger in. McHugh out. Magna back to serve. Down 6 7. Set to. Good serve. Peters pushes the setter out. That was nice. One step goes long. 7-7. Seven, seven. Nice serve by Magnet. Setter picks it up. Comes up to Belmont. Out. Oh, no touch. 8-7, the Jayhawks in the lead. Nice little service run by Tiana Magna. Out of Whitehall. Passed up. Dumped behind her. Crowley back. Jacob. Boom. Nice cross court. Let go by Yor. And it bounced in. 9-7. Magna back again. They're back. Pull the setter about 10 or 12 foot off. Roll shot. A free ball. Crowley back to Jacobs for the kill. Now they're mixing it up a little, which is nice. They're spreading the ball around and calls a timeout. 10 7. So. Down early, but a nice run, nice service run by Gianna Magna. And some, a couple of errors by Kay Valley. Nice kill by Amber Jacobs. And uh, gives us a 10-7 lead in set two. At the end of this set, we'll have a 10-minute intermission. And uh, then we'll come back to finish it out. So we could be here a while, folks. Home opener. Home conference opener for both squads.
And once again, here we are in that position where we talk about coming out of a timeout, you need to put the serve in and make them earn the side out if they're going to get it. Gianna Magna, who's on a nice service run here, back to serve for the Lady Jayhawks, up 10-7. Serves it in, Yor passes it right up to the setter, goes to back row. Touched by Seeger, back set to Jacobs, down the line. Beautiful, good eyes. Nobody home. 11-7. Your passes it right up. Tip. Crowley picks it up. Jacobs gets it. Smith. Where Popskin on it and gets a kill off of Peter's hands. 12 7. Well, they're spreading it out. And they got to stay after it. So. Nice job by the Lady Jayhawks. Nice service run by Gianna Magna. Coach Rixie calls the service area. Ball right up to the setter. Amber Jacobs is uh, doing a nice job on the right side of putting the ball away. She's uh, hitting at a high percentage rate. And, and Magnus still serving. Up 13-7. Great short serve. Carlisle tries to get it. A uh, little help from the net. Crowley gets it, but not good enough. 13-8. McGuire back to serve. Those are back in. Great pass by Jaron. Yeah. And a slide with McHugh, a little behind her, but she hit those long arms and, and picked it up. I'm sorry, that was Seeger. I should got to give credit where credit's due. Jacobs back to serve. Up 14 8. Good tough serve. Your good pass. Number one picks it up off the block. Peters. Uses the net and gets a kill. So we have 14 9. Lady Jayhawks. Ella Lewis back to serve for K Valley. Good tough serve. Nice pass by Jaron Smith. Picked up. Nice one arm. Free ball. Jacobs Crowley out to Carlisle. Uses the equipment, but it falls out. So 14-10, Jayhawks up. She just saw an opening, got so excited, she just over it and it goes long. Kills that, 15-10 for Lady Jayhawks. Brings Carlisle back to serve. Jaron Smith back to the front row. Five-point cushion at this point for the Jayhawks. They get a push through, nice tough serve down the line. Use the equipment, good pick up by the setter. Good run through by Carlisle, Crowley, to Seeger for the kill. Seeger out of Whitehall, coached by the infamous Ted Etzel, retired Ted Etzel, from teaching, not from coaching. Ooh, that's ugly, and he calls that right away, so it's 17-10, and the Jayhawks stretch it out a little. Carlisle with a couple of points. Good short serve. Back. He misses it. Comes through. Darren saw a touch. That was a touch. Darren, the up official called the touch. It was missed by the back official, 17-11. Deep, deep, deep serve out, 18-11. So, Jayhawks are getting the motor running here. Seeger back, T serve, McHugh up. And that's gonna go way long, but it's aggressive. 
Leach and Twelve Magna back in. So we got Carlisle, Jacobs, and Magna passing. Serve. Oh, they got it. She's got it back. She's going to bring it up and keep it in. She does. Peters, meet Bridget McHugh. She says no thanks and sends it right back for a really nice block by Bridget. 19-12. Crowley back to serve. Good deep serve. That's tight. And McHugh says give me another one. So two in a row. She cleans it up 20-12. to 12. And we're playing a little more fire. Not making as many errors. Passing well. Keeping the ball in between the lines. Nice job, Megan Crowley. Nice short serve. Now we're going to have to... Peters puts it in the net at 21-12. And the Jayhawks are... Number six, Logan Jordan comes in. For Krawczak. Crowley, good tough serve. Outside, Peters takes a little off. And McHugh gets it with one arm, tries to put it over, puts it in the net, 21-13. Seeley back to serve for K Valley. Smith, he's got room, Jacobs puts it in. Smith with a nice attack. Up, Crowley to Jacobs. Tries to hit a severe angle, misses it, but good thought. 21 14. On the side out here, Crowley's in the back row. Oh, short serve, picked up by Smith. Pick that up. Smith says, No thanks, that's up high. Oh! Amber Jacobs. Megan McHugh. 22-14. Smith back to serve. Into the net. We got a push for three points. Even this match up at one set apiece. Peters back to serve. Serves it. Carlisle picks it up out of the net. Crowley does and spins it up. 22 16. Peters got a good serve. She can keep it in. Smith, Carlisle, Migna back to pass. McHugh and Jacobs and Crowley in the front row. Picked up. Can you go out to Carlisle? And sneaked it through the net for a kill for point 23. Seeger in, McHugh out, Magna back to serve, Paulson comes in for Jaron Smith, Magna good serve, Ace 24-16, we had two people looking at it and we decided to pass it a little late. Get it off for a service ace winner. 24 16 set point. That's tight. And Abby Seeger says set two to the Jayhawks with a nice block. So we're going to take a 10 minute break. Tied up at one set apiece. It's a little more like it. Looked a lot better and we'll see what happens. We'll see you back in 10 minutes. I lied, folks. It was a five-minute intermission, not ten. We're back on the court. Starts at three. We're all tied up at one set each. So we'll see what uh, what transpires here in set three. Well, it's really a best two out of three set match. So nice comeback by the Jayhawks in the second set. They, they played pretty strong all the way through. They just kept pulling away and pulling away to make any mistakes, hit well, passed well, and 
just kind of overpowered. Their blocking was exceptional, and uh, they're uh, just kind of overpowered the Cougars in that second set. So we'll see if they can carry that over into set three as we get ready to get started. Jordan Carlisle to start it out. Just long. Really smoker back to serve up one nothing. Thank you. Picked up. Making Crowley take the one arm branded over the back of her shoulder for the kill. Good hustle, good effort. To side out, one one. Abby Seeger. Back to serve. Yor passes it up outside to Peters. High off the hands for the kill. 2-1 K Valley. Draws that goes back to serve. Up 2-1. Set three. Tied at one set each. Puts it in Jacobs. Oh, rolls, hits the antenna. Point K Valley. Draws that back to serve Jacobs. Smith. It's a little long. We a couple of errors here. And we're down 4 1 in set three. Quick start for the Lady Cougars. Krozak back to serve, good deep serve, off his back. Magna runs it down, it's gonna be a free ball. Yor right up to the setter, back set to number two for the kill, and five on. Good pass by Jacob. That's a little low for McHugh to get to. So a 6 1 and a timeout. Good timeout by it. Good timeout by Rixie. Which Rixie calls a timeout is the Cougar, Lady Cougars jump on the Lady Jayhawks right out of the gate here and set 3 6 1. Some errors. And uh, really didn't like that cooling off period of that five minutes coming off that really nice. Uh, strong second set showing by the Lady Jayhawks. So, just gonna have to right the ship, and use the timeout to get to a set, and uh, come out and get back in a rhythm. So, still way early in the set to to panic. So, see what happens. Krawczyk number one had a nice night for the uh, Lady Cougars. Back to serve. We've got Kyle Lair, Jacob, and Megan back to pass. And here we go. We'll serve in. Crowley out to. Picked up by Krozak. Out to Peter. He's going to spin it down the line. Good. 7 1. Trickles over. Picked up, free ball. McHugh is blocked for 8 1. And nothing going the Lady Jayhawks' way here in set three, and they find themselves in a deeper hole. Krawczyk, a nice service run, good deep. Jim, Jacobs passes it up. Smith hammers it down the line. So it's okay, it's our turn. Takes it. Crowley goes back to serve. 
Jacobs, McHugh, and Smith up in the front row. Three hitters like that. See if we can do something. Short, short serve. Didn't need that. 9-2. So, number two, Megan Seeley from Central High School. Goes back to serve up by seven. Set three. The deep serve. Crowley outside. Jacobs off. Picked up by Krawczak. Three balls, not going to get there. So, staying with it. Gets him the side out. 9 3. Smith back to serve. Need a little run here. Smith, good serve. Just passes up. Back set to Peters. Nice one arm by Smith. Picked up Magna Crowley, excuse me, back to Jacobs. Down, picked up by Krawczak. Libero swings out of the back row. Point for the Lady Jayhawks. So we pick up a couple of quick points there off of Jaron Smith. That's going long. So. We traded two for one, that's all right. We picked up two, gave up one. 10-4. Peters back to serve. Good serve, picked up. Jacobs, now oh, picked up by Yor, nice. Set, ball drops. Billy Smoker can't pick it up. Side out, 5-10, Magna back to serve. Gianna had a great service run in set two for the Lady Jayhawks. Let's see if we can get one going here. Good serve. Pass up and back row attack. Keeps it in. Three ball, sets out. Ball's out. So Magna picks up one, so it's 6-10. See if we can add to that. Gianna back to serve again. Nice short serve. Peters picks it up. Middle, uses the equipment, gets the kill. In front of Megan Crowley with a great effort. So 6-11, so we pick up a couple there again. So I said the two for one, we'll take that. We'll slowly climb right back in it. Serves up, Smith passes up, Crowley back to Seeger who hits it out. 12-6, Lady Cougars. Madison McGuire serves, uses the equipment for an ace. Nothing you can do about that. But the brakes are going the Lady Cougars way in set three. So. A little perspiration on the floor, so we're going to mop that up a minute for the safety of the players. And go from there. That clean up, go back. 13-6. Good serve, Smith comes off side of her arms. Three ball, Smith to play it. Peters passes it up, out to Krawczak. Nope, doesn't get over, we got four. Amber Jacobs goes back to serve once again. Very effective and efficient server. See if she can give us a little run, pull us closer. 7-13, no. Sails long by about a foot. So, we doubled up at 14-7. Number nine, Gabriella Hall, back to serve. Passed up. Carlisle deep. Peters picks it up. And lost by Hall in the air. York comes back in. So 14-8, Carlisle back to serve. Good pass up by Peters. Number two. 
Deep corner in. 15-9. We gotta have a little run here. Long way to 25 for me. It's not impossible, but need to need to pick it up. For 12 back to serve. Passed up by Magnus. Gonna come out here to Jaron Smith. High angle. Nice swing. Kill. 9-15. Seeger back to serve. McHugh in the front row to block. See if we can pick up a couple here. Off the Seeger serve. Good tough serve. Pass straight up. And back out. Uh, broken play off the 10 foot line for a kill by Peters. 16 9. Back to serve Krawczyk, who had a good service run the last time she was back there. See if we can take it away from her here in the first point. Carlisle comes up. Magna passes it up. Smith high up. Picked up, set out to Peters. She cuts it, picked up by Carlisle. Jacobs, your comes up. Peters can go up and swing at it, and Q says no. He picks it up, Magna picks it up to Crowley. Picked up by Krawczyk. Out to Peters, hit the cut shot, just out. Um, just missed. Just missed. <laughs> Coach Jen cheering it on. Just missed. Close. So 10 16. Megan Crowley back to serve for the Lady Jayhawks. Down by six in set three. Tied at one set each. Crowley uses the equipment and buys us a point. 11-16. We'll put our rally caps on here. Good serve. Your touches it. Picked up nice by the setter. Peters. A little top spin on it. Played it off the equipment. McHugh goes up and says, let's go. 12-16. So we're getting closer. That's what we gotta do. We gotta keep we gotta Keep scoring those reels. Megan Crowley back to serve 12 16. Krawczyk up the pass. Going to come up to the middle. So it's not in sync, so it's a free ball. Crowley back to Jacobs. Good pick up by Magna. Smith hard high off the block. And stuck with the point up 13 16. We might get a timeout here, but no. So it's Coach Buchma's going to let him play. Crowley picks up another reel, 13-16, only down by three now. Good deep serve to the Libro. Nice pass outside the... Oh, Amber Jacobs to the solo block on Peters. Causes Kay Valley to call a timeout and pulls us within two. Amber Jacobs, a solo stuff. On McKenna Peters, nice play. Good momentum builder. So, we take a timeout. So we pretty much wiped away that big deficit, eight point deficit, and are within two. So, we'll see if the Lady Cougars tighten up here. Lady Jayhawks can stay in sync. Obviously key to put the serve in here. Out of the timeout. So we'll see what happens here in just a few seconds. So set three. Down by two. Megan Crowley on a nice service run here. She's got a four point service run going here. We'll see what happens. Put the ball in play. Got her three hitters in the front row. Crowley. Oh. 
Long out of the timeout, not what we wanted, but real close. Nice run by Megan, pulls us back into the match. Number two, Seeley back to serve. We'll see what happens here. Seeley to serve, good. Drives Carlisle back, out. Smith comes up the middle, didn't have a blocker, but pushed it into the net. 18-14, got to stop the bleeding right here. Miss serve in an error. Magna puts it up. Picked up. Another nice pick up. And pick up. Oh, nice swing by Smith, deep middle. Saved the point there. We were in trouble and bailed out. So Jaron takes the ball with her after the kill. 15-18. Good. Brozak, nice pass up to the setter. Swing. Oh, a nice one arm bandit by Carlisle. McHugh tries to swing back across her body and puts the ball in the net. For side out, 19 15, Lady Cougars. We're getting honed down a home stretch here. Set three. Peters back to serve. Magna picks it up. Crowley. And Darren Smith hits it long for 20. Down five. Coach Ritchie calls a good timeout. So we go from down two to down five, and we've got to right the ship here or. We're going to be here battling. Let's see what happens. I think the key thing now for Lady Jayhawks is, is they got to keep the ball in, in the box and in between the lines, keep the plays going, give themselves a chance. You got an open net swing, you got to take it, you got a high percentage swing, take it, but anything else, you got to make them earn the point. We'll see what happens. McKenna Peters, who's got a lot of spin on her serve, has been using the net, had a couple of aces, trickle off the net, back to serve. We'll see what happens here as we go into the home stretch of set three. Serves the ball in deep. Megan brings it up. Yeah. Jacobs pushes it. And slides for a kill. 21. Tip's not going to work on your. She's too good. She picked that up easy and transitions into a point. The Peters back to serve. Another good serve. Smith brings it up. Crowley pumps. That's it. Carlisle. Nice swing picked up by Yor. Another two call. So we pick up the point. Megna goes back. We need a Gianna Megna service run here. Down 16-21. Not many points left, so. Good deep serve. Goes long, way long. That doesn't help. 22. And we're in deeper trouble here. 16-22. Number eight, McGuire back to serve the setter. And Crowley's about 12 foot off, back. Jacobs high off the block, back set. The kill with number 12, Joey Smoker sends it down the line for point 23. And McGuire back to serve two points from set three for the Lady Cougars, so a deep serve. Once again, Crowley about 12 foot off. Jacobs, picked up, great pick up by the Libro. Seeger says no. Nice angle there. Abby Seeger keeps us alive at 17.23. Amber Jacobs, who is very capable of going on the service run. Good deep serve, Libro picks it up, perfect pass. 
Little drop shot by Smoker for 24, and they've got a whole bucket full of set points at 24-17 here in set three for the Lady Cougars. So we'll see what happens here, but Lady Jayhawks are in trouble in set three, down 24-17. They're within two at 16-14 and just have not gotten it. Served into the net, so we got that. So it's 18-24. Carlisle back to serve. Facing the sets off the side. Uh, number 12. Smoker picked up by Jacobs. Crowley out. Smith high, hard angle. Kill. 19-24. So we've averted two set points. Carlisle back to serve. Very good. Picked up. Drop shot, Jacob says he's going to do better than that. Another swing. Oh, nice one arm bandit by Yor, but not good enough. So, 20 24 with three set points that we've averted. So, Carlisle back. A couple of nice serves. Cleaning up a little of perspiration as this match goes longer. Jordan Carlisle, good deep serve, picked up, set up. Gonna go back set to number 12 into the net by Smoker. 21 24. Here come the Jayhawks. Reverted four set points. Nice run by Jordan Carlisle, back to serve. A deep serve, picked up. Yor picked it up, set to two. Blocked by Abby Seeger. 22-24, and they pulled within two. So the Lady Jayhawks not throwing the towel in, coming back from 17-24, 22-24, so and they'll have a serve in their hands coming out of the timeout in set three. And see if they can put a little more pressure on them. This is when everybody starts, stomach starts getting a little tight, the butterflies start flying around, and the questions go in your mind, is it coming to me, is it coming to me? And we're gonna see what happens here, folks. But uh, I like the fight of the Jayhawks just in, throwing the towel down 17-24 and fought their way back. Now they're down by two, so we'll see what Jordan Carlisle does out of the out of the timeout here to see if we can't pick up another one. Go 23-24. So Jordan, a freshman out of Fruitport High School. And both coaches have used their timeout, so we're playing to the end now, folks. Carlisle oh, dumps it in the net for set three. 25-22, Lady Cougars.
Well, there's only one way for the Jayhawks to win this match, and that's for us to go five. So it basically says we need to win set four, and we need to win set five. So we a three-minute break to reorganize. So what do we need to do to right the ship? A good run, valiant effort. Just fell a little short. Well, that game's behind us. All you can do is nothing about that. You can only look forward to the next game. So we'll see what happens. We start out here in set four, down two sets to one. An unusual position for the Lady Jayhawks in their home gym. Uh, good early season test to say, okay, what are we gonna do uh, here? Uh, early season, first conference match. How are we gonna how are we gonna manage this? Can we come back and win in five? my small bottle of water. So I'll have to sip it slowly here to get us through to set five. So here they come out to battle. We will start by receiving, I believe. Team's name. She's played most of the match. Nice young lady, played a good match. Let's see if I can pick up her name somewhere else. I can't. Ball's in. Regna picks it up. She goes in. There we go. So, good talk by Magnus as ball's out and it was out. Nope, doesn't have her name on any of the papers in front of me, sorry folks. Seeger back to serve. McHugh up in the front, good tough serve. Puts him in trouble, got a free ball. Jacob, McHugh, touch, picked right up. Picked up. Good kill, 2 nothing start for the Lady Jayhawks and Seeger back to to go again. Up two nothing, set four, down two sets to one. Good tough serve, your great pass, puts it up. McHugh says, no thank you. Stuff block, so good start out of the gates for the uh, for the Lady Jayhawks at three nothing. Abby Seeger, back to serve. Good serve. Your great pass up back to number of Krozak. McHugh, big long arms again. Oh. McHugh just too much. A little bit too much. She got the block and just pushed it out. No big deal. It's... Oh. Krozak has had a great night serve and puts it in the bottom of the net. 4-1 and Crowley goes back to serve to put Amber Jacobs in the front row. We got our three headers. Let's see if we can pour it on here a little. And Crowley, good serve. Passed up nicely by number 13. Good quick step for number two, Megan Seeley for the kill. And she takes the ball back with it to serve down two to four. Serve for Kay Valley. We like that. We don't have to do anything but pick the ball up and go back and serve it. And Jaron Smith does exactly that. Headed back to the service line. Up 5 2. Smith, good tough serve. Your poke back over. 
for a miss. 6-2 for the Lady Jayhawks and out to a quick start here. So Sharon Smith again back to serve. Great short serve picked up. Oh. McHugh forgot where the setter was and didn't go with her. She pounds it, so 6-3. Peters back to serve. Good serve. Smith brings it up. Crowley goes and gets it. Jacobs, good swing. Picked up by the Libero. Deep. Smith, nice up. And Falls in between a couple of Jayhawks. They pick it up, scramble, but it keeps going backwards and ends up a point for K Valley. So they're down 4 6. A two point run here. Trying to get closer. Jayhawks trying to keep that lead and stretch it out a little. Peters back to serve for the Cougars. Deep serve. Smith passes it up. Crowley. Oh! Jordan Carlisle says, thank you very much, Megan Crowley, great set, and pounds it. Seeger in, McHugh out. Magna back to serve, up 7-4. Nice serve, picked up, this pass by Krozak. In the middle, the net on Seeger. Seems to play pretty solid. Goes on to the next point. 7-5. Setter number eight. McGuire back to serve. Way deep. We'll take that. I think that's, easy. I think that's at least the third miss served this set for K Valley. 8-5. Amber Jacobs back for the Lady Jayhawks. Good serve. Your close. Picked up. Carlisle teams up the dirt with the net for a kill, and up 9-5. Jacob takes the ball with her, but a timeout by Coach Buchma in set number four, and didn't want it to get too far away. Calls a good timeout, try to slow the momentum down. It is 9-5 Lady Jayhawks in set four, trying to force a deciding game five. We'll see what happens. come back out, Amber Jacobs, ball back in her hands, up 9-5, she gets the call, we'll see what happens here, good tough serve, project close, back row attack, on the setter, good call by referee Sharon, for a point, 10-5, Carlisle was there to greet her with the block anyway, so now we got Amber back again. Krozak, perfect pass, back up. Nice swing, no touch. By Ella Lewis, 11-5, and it's kind of taking the same form as set two. Jayhawks off to a quick start outside. Picked up by Jaron Smith. Crowley back to Jacobs. Good. Nice deep. And the Jayhawks are rolling. 12 5. Nice service run by Amber Jacobs. Jayhawks up by 7. 
Picked up another nice pass by Krawczak up. Picked up blocked by Seeger and Crowley. Back back to Seeger. Call the double on Crowley, so Seeger's kill goes un. Door to serve, six. Back row attack on the setter, so two quick points. Takes it to 7 12. Your the Libro back to serve. Thirteen seven, Carlisle back to serve. Peters puts it up, set her back to Peters out of the back row. Through the block of Smith and Seeger for the kill. 8-13, still a five-point lead for the Jayhawks. Got to focus on what's going on here. Number 13 back to serve. Jacobs, nice pass, nice jump on two for Crowley. McHugh in, Magna out, Seeger back to serve, up 14-8. Goes after it, hits the top of the tape, comes back, 14-9. Krawczak back to serve for the Lady Cougars. And Jacobs and everybody. A triple block on that. He ran a tandem and what she had to do is tip it over to the uh, one box as they call it and it was a kill. So sometimes hitters have to know that you just got to hit it where they're not, and it was a big area. Carlisle picks it up, picked off, picked up, out to Peter swings it, 10-14, Coach Rixey calls the timeout. Good timeout, 11-14, still in it. No problem. No problem. You just got to settle down. 11 14 as the Lady Cougars try to mount a little charge. Erase a six, seven point deficit here in set four. Trying to close out the match. And the Lady Jayhawks are trying to stop a few points of bleeding and preserve. Try to make the match go to five. So 14 11. Lady Jayhawks up, down two sets to one. Krawczak, who's had a really good service game for the Lady Cougars, back to serve. And we'll see what happens as the Lady Jayhawks come out of the huddle. Earning my keep here in the first match of the season. And it will fire to tell Jim Neasy in here. And Krawczak uh, uh, back to serve, back to action. Good serve, Magna up. Overpass, get away with it. And net kill, uses the equipment. And the, uh, the volley gods continue to shine for the Cougars. So 12-14, Krawczak with a short serve, picked up by Carlisle, Crowley back. McHugh with a nice slide, deep cross court corner, nice kill, brings a smile to her face. Crowley goes to the back to serve, brings the three hitters, Jacob, Smith, and McHugh in the front row. Crowley to serve, had a nice service night. Oh, just long. 13-15, number two, Megan Seeley back. Number 15, Ella Lewis back in. 
Picked up. Crowley comes and gets it. Out to Jacob. Over through the setter for a kill. Nice kill. Brings a 16-13. Jaron Smith drops back. And Jordan Carlisle comes to the front row. So still three hitters up. Smith back to serve. Serves in. Pass up by Setter one arms and wins the joust with Jordan Carlisle to keep him within two. Back to serve. Peters is back to serve. Down 14 16. Good. Oh, nice off by Megan Crowley. Keeps the ball alive, but not enough. Got a couple of touches. But it's a 15-16 point for the Lady Cougars. Long match, perspiration's flowing. Got to wipe it off, keep the players safe. We'll see what happens here. Kalamazoo's fought back to within one. Peters with a serve. Right now. Smith picks it up, Carlisle puts it in the net, and we're all tied up at 16, so the 7-8 point Lady Jayhawks lead has gone away. We're dead even. We're playing a game to nine or more for the match for K Valley, or to go to five for nice up. Megan Crowley slips, can't get to the ball, and now the lead. Lady Cougars have a 17-16 lead. I'm going to slow, down, slow it down. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Another serve. Up. Mump set. Oh. Carlisle sneaks it through that double block for a much needed side out. 17 all. Gianna Magna back to serve. Seeger to the front row. Carlisle, Seeger, Jacobs in the front row. Magna back to serve. Good serve deep. Rozak passes it up. Number 12 hits it long. Billy Smoker. So we're up 18-17. As we start heading towards the home stretch of set four. Magna back to serve. Up one. Nice deep serve. Ace, right on the line. There we go. Nice job, Gianna. 19-17. We're thinking about a timeout. I think one more point by the Jayhawks, and we'll see a timeout. Magna back to serve, trying to give us a three-point lead. A short serve comes up. Yor picks it up. Right. Ella Lewis comes in, and... Slams a kill to make it 18-19, so they won't be calling a timeout on this one, so we'll see what happens. Down 18-19. Set her back to serve into the net for Madison McGuire. 2018. Amber Jacobs back to serve for the Lady Jayhawks. Has had started out with a good service run for us at the beginning of the set. Let's see if she can bring us home. A deep serve to your pass, good pass up. Good deep push by Ella Lewis for side out, 19-20. Jayhawks holding on to that one point lead. Lewis back to serve for the Lady Cougars. With some of their players set out, their service ace, so it's for tied at 20. It's a game to five or more. Either a fifth set or a win. Another great serve. This ace, 21 20, and a timeout called by Coach Rixey as their lead is vanquished and they're down by one. Set four. We'll have to see what happens here. Got to right the ship. That's all we got to do. Need a pass and a set and a side out. Tie it up and then put a few points on the board. 
In the other huddle, Coach Buchan was saying, hey, we're four points away from beating this team in their gym, which doesn't happen. So, see what happens. So, um, Lewis back to serve, good server. We got Jacobs and Magna and Smith back to pass. We got Carlisle and Seeger and Crowley in the front row, down one. Lewis back to serve. Coach Rixie's out of timeouts. Lady Tehaku, she foot faulted. Oh. Terrible foot fault. Nobody goes. Rick. Bad foot fault there, Rick. Bad foot fault in the last one. Long, 21-22, shouldn't be saying that on the air, but she foot faulted terribly in the last point and the ref wasn't even looking at her foot. Carlisle back to serve, good deep serve. Oh, service ace for Carlisle, ties it up. That'll bump her up. Game to three, 22 all. Jordan Carlisle, Fruitport High School, back to serve. Uh, sends it long, pops up in the air, down 23-22. Number 13, I wish I knew your name because you played a heck of a match, but I don't. She's back to serve, two points away from a big upset here in Bartell Roads Gymnasium. Carlisle, oh, she netted. Oh, oh. Oh, they got away with one there. 24-22, set point, match point, two match points for the Cougars. Gonna watch for the foot faults. Oh. Got away as Kay Valley volleyball gods are shining because their player was terribly in the net. Got away with it, but that's the game. You got to play through it. So here's the match point. That's long. 23-24. They still got a match point on their hands. And we got Abby Seeger back to save the day for us at 23-24. Match point. Ball's in. Picked up. 13. Going to go outside for the match. Team set match. Bay Valley wins in four. So Kalamazoo Valley wins in four tonight. As the Jayhawks lost that substantial lead in set four and couldn't hang on. And Bay Valley comes away with a rare victory in Bartell Road Gymnasium. And that's going to be it. So the Lady Jayhawks start the conference season off with a loss and coming back and see you twice next week a Tuesday and Thursday with Tuesday being the Grand Rapids Raiders, one of our arch rivals always. That'll be a good match. So we hope to see you come back out. Thanks for watching, folks, and have a good and safe evening. Good night.